This is a visual I'm hoping not to see for probably seven months, if we're lucky, eight. Anyway, every orchid should have a do not disturb sign on it. We know the less we disturb our orchids, the better it is for them. Everything that we do with our orchids that is a little bit untoward is stress inducing. So I've been shuffling my orchids in and out for the past four months. And why was none of that stressful for them? It's good to have you here. If you're in a position like mine, let's just say that you grow your orchids permanently indoors as a general rule. But eventually, because it's sunny outside, you do bring them outdoors. You're probably wondering, yeah, well, I shouldn't be stressing them out like this. Fear not, you've come to the right place because, as I said, I've been doing this for the past four months in and out on a sunny day. Today, it happens to be an overcast day and I'm giving you the real visual of what my orchids deal with on an overcast day while indoors. And also because you can see the direction of the light source, even though it doesn't look that bright, you can clearly see where the light is coming from. Those very, very dirty terrace windows, which I leave dirty for a reason, because during the winter, the sun does come in full force into this space. And instead of doing some kind of a curtain or draping, etc., I just leave my windows dirty because that protects all the orchids that are right up against the glass from getting singed. Anyway, you can still see a light source. This is important because later when I move them outside, I am respecting their exact same positioning with the light source whilst they're outside. So every orchid that is placed here on the shelf, let's just say, even though the light source is my new school, outdoors, I am respecting the same positioning, facing the orchid away or toward the light, the same exact positioning as you see here. Now you say, yeah, but during the winter, I have my lights on. That means the light source is coming from above. But once I take my orchids outside, the light source is not necessarily coming from above, but from the size. What do you do then? Okay, I just switched my lights on and you can see, same here, if my lights were on, everything would be coming from above and I had to move the camera angle down a little bit because it stopped the flickering of the blurple lights. But you can see the row of orchids up here they are getting light from above. However, if that were to be the case, and then you move your orchids outside and the light source is coming from different angles, know that it makes absolutely no difference because the light source is coming from all different angles while the orchids are outside as well because there is so much more reflection outdoors than there is indoors. So if you have yourself an orchid collection where the majority of them will be able to enjoy the great outdoors, no matter for the time of months that they are outdoors, before you have to bring them in again, do not worry about the direction of light previously for the majority of the time coming from above and then take them outside. Well, the sun angle in the summer is so much higher in the sky anyway, but there's also so many more reflecting influences from all the area and all the surroundings. And then you'll see the oddball out orchid here, which is my Panarica prismatocarpa, and that new growth is facing directly towards the light. But this is already at the later stages of my winter. In the past, while that growth was growing, she was positioned right there. And you can see how the new growth is now coming towards us. But what I was trying to do is make sure that the new growth isn't going to become too lanky out of the angle of the pot. But the light source was coming from back there. If you can see when I switch the lights off, that is how I grew that orchid. So because I'm in the interim right now, at night, because there is no light source, I just put this orchid on the shelf wherever she is safest from me walking past her and knocking the pot over. So that was just that one exception in case your keen eye picked up on it. But everybody else, for any eventualities, in case I cannot get to shuffling next day, everybody else gets positioned in such a way that they are always in the same direction the pot is always positioned in that way that the light source remains the same no matter if my orchids are in or out. 
and I'm going to get to shuffling now, and then we'll pick up when they're all outside. Even though it is an overcast day, there is definitely more light outside than there is inside. <laughs> what is my point of reference as I move my orchids? I look for roots, I look for new growths, and in my case, new growths always face away from the light source so that they grow back into the pot and towards the light source, keeping the orchid contained within the pot and not going every which way. In some cases, I am looking at the back end of my orchids because the growth is at the far end the way I turn the pot. Let me show you an example right here. An easy one, but this this is what I'm talking about. Here is my Renanthera citrina, and you can see how the roots are sticking out. Long, super long. Do I need to put a light on? I think it might not be such a bad idea. Here we go. Super long root sticking out, okay? She was on the shelf, obviously for me. <laughs> Thankfully, the root is growing in such a way that it can stick out from the shelf where I don't walk into it. But that's how she is on the shelf if I were to leave the orchids inside and couldn't move them outside. But then, when I take her outside, she will be positioned in such a way that the light source remains coming from the front and the roots continue to stick out every which way. <laughs> the best way where I don't bump them. So her positioning is always respected and she's got a spike, which is awesome. I hope that the temperatures will soon level out so that I don't lose the buds. But you see the spike is growing towards the light source. That is also a point of reference if that is what you choose to do. When she's not spiking, the roots are my point of reference. And I do that with all of them. And those that are not in active growth, I respect their direction of growth from jump. For example, my Cattleya tenues is not in active growth, but you can see how her leaves are facing the direction of light that she's accustomed to. So I look at her this way. The light source is from the front there. And that's how I would put her on the shelf outside as well. I better get a move on and get them all outside. And here they are outside. It's still overcast. That's why the curtains are up. There is no threat of anything burning here at the moment. But as mentioned, while we were indoors, everything is positioned in such a way that their light source comes from the main light source, which would be over here to the left on an overcast day. And then, of course, the west side over there will have afternoon sun if it were on a sunny day. But let me show you our one example just to give you a point of reference of what I'm trying to tell you about. This doesn't stress the orchids out because of me respecting their light source. Every single time I position them elsewhere, here is the citrina. You can see the roots are now facing away from the light source. The main light source is over there on a sunny day. The berry odor is blocking the light from the west, so that's not an interference anymore. And you can see that the spike here is also facing towards the main light source. This way, I am able to, and hopefully you in future as well, won't have to worry about stressing your orchids because you're moving them around. Consider the light source, respect the light source, and if you have time, shuffle your orchids accordingly without any fear of stressing them out. I hope that this was helpful. If you have other circumstances that you would like to run by me that you're not entirely sure about whether what I'm talking about would work in your space, in your shuffle, I am always open to hear specifics. This is a very general approach, but any specifics you would like to bring to my attention, I'll be very happy to clear that up, even if you just need a confirmation for what you already know. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I wish you a beautiful day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.